Hello everyone and welcome back to the Elden Ring second run. Last time around we went through a hell of a time getting down here and we got to Fake Mo, correct? And now we are attempting to kill Fake Mo. And the question is, how are we gonna go about doing that? Um Currently, Tom and Ajar ain't doing shit. Maybe what we should do to start the fight, do a Terra Magica and hit him in the ass with Loretta's Great Bow. And then and then go from there. Maybe maybe switch over to Rock Sling. I'm not using the comet spell. He he gets out of the way. He literally gets hit once and then just moves. It's like that is not going to work. We got to we got to get a better strategy. <clears throat> Let's see here. I don't think he aggro's immediately when you go through the door, does he? Like right now I'd be able to do Terra Magica. Yeah, he's not aggroed yet, see? Oh, never mind. He is. Perhaps I should release the bow at some point. <laughs> I was like, why is it not going? Oh, I didn't release it because I'm an idiot. Well, that's a good range. I don't remember any of his moveset. Staggered him. I used my bare hand. Oops. What? Where's my sword? Wait a minute. Where's my sword? What happened to my sword? I don't know why I didn't have a sword in my hand. I did zero damage on the stagger. My sword. I accidentally put it away. <laughs> How did I manage that? I have no idea. <clears throat> I put the sword away. Oops. Okay, so that's not effective. I probably should have, uh... I probably should have the sword out. And also, I should hit him right away with the, the bow, bow attack on Terra Magica. You know what? Forget the bow. I'm gonna do Terra Magica and just start chucking rock slings. <clears throat> and see how it works. The rock sling was effective. He got staggered. So, maybe that's how I'm going to beat him here. <clears throat> I accidentally put the sword away. I don't even know how I did it. I must have hit the button completely by accident. Running impaled. That wasn't bad because I hit him four times. I think one more time would have been an auto stagger. I think it's five hits with rock sling. I think he would have staggered. <clears throat> so I think I was right there. But he did the running stab and impaled my ass, and that was that. <clears throat> Trying to get maximum damage in there. <clears throat> Maybe just forget the Terra Magica, just go right into rock sling. Probably. Oh wow, that range is crazy. That sucked.
can't move. I'm stuck. I almost had him, but the stupid room killed me. Like, he literally didn't kill me. The room did. I got stuck on, on, like, a chair, and then I got stuck on the stupid column. So I couldn't get out of the way. Dr. Oink, thank you for the super chat. I don't know why you're talking about another user like that. I wasn't paying any attention. But thank you, Dr. Oink, for the super chat. We're, we're almost there. Essentially, just stay away. Hope he keeps chucking the blood magic that doesn't do anything for me for maximum range. And uh, keep trying to stagger his ass, you know? It was just stupid the column killed me. But again, it's, it's from soft. The room is just as dangerous as anything else, right? Always. <clears throat> Always. against the column. Goddamn room. The room is more dangerous than the boss. Again, the column. bad at all, actually. Just stay away. Blood Flame Talons. Not bad at all. Stay away and just spam the fucking Rock Sling. Not nearly as hard as I thought it would be. I thought it would be way harder. Nope. <laughs> well, there you go. That was easy peasy. That was what, like... Wow, less than ten minutes. My original run of this game... What was that, six minutes? My original run of this game, right... So difficult. So difficult to beat that guy. He was super challenging. This run? <laughs> Not so much. Wow. So, we're still putting stats into strength, correct? Because we're trying to equip the sword. Um, the Moonlight Greatsword. Dark Moon Greatsword. It's called Strength 16. We have 15. I need one more. And then after that, I need to start putting stats into weight. Carry weight. Because I'm going to be over encumbered. What's the what's the carry weight stat, everybody? Dr. Oink did a second super chat. He says, Robbie thinks, he says he wants to eat me to your dungeon. I don't know what you're talking about. I, anyway. Oh, what's this? Oh, Molino wants to talk? He does? Why? So now we could use the sword, but now my equipment weight is shitty. What stat is equipment weight, guys? Is it, uh... Is it endurance? Yes, equip low. So I gotta start putting stuff into endurance now. Dr. Wayne, thanks for another super chat. He says, have a good stream. I'm here if you need me. All right. Yes, I do know that there is the, the optional thing behind the chest. I remember that, the, the optional room. That leads you down to the frenzied flame fingers. <clears throat> um. Anyway, I don't think I have enough to what Melina wants to talk about. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, ah. I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, 
Life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. Mm -hmm. Does not want you to get the frenzied flame. Yes, so Darziak says, my guess why Moog is down here when we know this isn't the real Moog. He's using a phantom to make people think he's here, but actually sneaking around like Morgoth and Margit was at the Erd Tree all along, using the phantom in the early area, the castle, the God Godric's grafted castle, right? Yes, um, so here's an, an interesting thing, right? So we're gonna go back here. This is all illusory. <clears throat> so if you had not beaten Morgoth yet, if you walk over here, you can't get through this door. This door is blocked by a golden power. And you're like, why? And it says, some power holds you back. This door only opens once you kill Morgoth back at the capital. So basically the, the lore, I actually read into this. I was wondering, what is the lore of this area? Apparently Morgoth and Moog are brothers. And Morgoth, despite the fact he knows he can never be an Elden Lord because he's deformed, he has the omen, um, he is still loyal. So he stays behind to defend the capital from anyone attacking the Erd Tree, okay? Uh, Moog completely is the opposite. He decided to go against the Erd Tree and try to start his own thing. So that's why he kidnaps, um, <clears throat> what's the name? The, the, the kid in the cocoon? God, I can't remember his name now. That's why he kidnaps him. And he's trying to basically raise him and use him as a means to like godhood. Because he wants to be the consort to the new god or whatever. Um, Michaela, yes, that's the name, Michaela. So he's going against the Erd Tree, Moog. But the thing is, even though Morgoth and Moog are completely com opposite in their ways of thinking, you know, Morgoth's loyal, Moog is completely not, he wants to be a rebel. They both agree that the Frenzied Flame is the biggest risk to anything in the Lands Between. That if the Frenzied Flame takes over, that's the end of everything. Like, all order will be destroyed. So they both work together to stop. Moog stands here with his shadow to stop you from going there. And then even if you beat him, if you haven't beaten Morgoth yet, you can't get through the door. It's blocked by a golden power. You have to kill you have to kill Morgoth to get to that. So they're both working together <laughs> to stop you from getting down here. Kind of interesting. Madness ahead. Yes, all the all the crazy Fenders are down here. They, all these guys are overcome by the frenzied flame. Yep. They're all insane. Cool, they're playing the music. A Grace Mimic. <laughs> this drop section made you rage? Why? There's a few drops, but they're not that hard. I don't remember. I think a few times I fucked up. I, it wasn't, like, horrible. Wow, complete failure. Bye bye. It's just sad that they're all crazy. They've all been overcome by the frenzied flame and they've all lost their maw. I misstepped. That was my fault. I misstepped. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention and I misstepped. <clears throat> you have to use the madness to open up those tents. I'm terrible with gravity in any Souls game. I die to it the most. What, uh... What tents? I'm sure speedrunners are great at this. They just run right through this area like no problem. They're like, watch this. I don't, I'm never gonna get hit. They walk right through it. Slap! There we go. 
Frenzied cookbook. I love frenzied recipes. Hefty beast's bow. Oh, I almost fell. Shit. The hefty beast bone. Oh, I shot it. No, I didn't. Fui. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I was lucky. <laughs> that was a lucky one. Wait a minute. I'm in trouble. This is the wrong spot, I think. I mean, I can't tell. Oh, nice. We're almost there. Nice. Inescapable frenzy. These are all the frenzied flame stuff, right? You can't go in here unless you have frenzy. Is that what you're saying? Like, you can't open this tent without frenzy ability? Which I don't have. I don't have any frenzied flame abilities. Yeah, that didn't work. I wonder what that item is. Is that item anything important? Probably not, right? The enemies will hit them too. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna make it to be down there. I need those. It's probably all frenzied flame items, right? <laughs> probably. That's it, now we just fall. Uh, here we are in the frenzied flame chamber. So I don't want to do the frenzied flame ending, so I'm not gonna go in the door. Once again, talk to Melina. She's going to say, I'm going to abandon you if you do this, I think. I ask you one more time. Please, seek not the frenzied flame. So many people are against the frenzied flame. To become a lord, deny not <clears throat> the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called lord. When the land they preside over is lifeless. Okay, I didn't say I was going to do it. Terribly Joy did a $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Says, have you ever considered playing Alisa, an awesome horror game that plays respect to the Resident Evil titles of old and obscure outsider title? I've never heard of it. Is it PC? I don't know. I would play it. I'm down for any kind of unique games at this point to add variety to the channel. Because since we're done with RPGs for a while, although admittedly this is an RPG, but it's very different from others. Um, <clears throat> I definitely want to do different things. So yeah, I mean, hey, if it's a horror game and you guys think you would like it, I'd be down for that. Let me know. I've never heard of it, though. And Dr. Oink, another super chat. He said, this is the last one for now. I'm happy to support. I'm wishing you love. What genre of game do you feel you spend the most enjoyment from? Uh, I don't. <clears throat> At least it was on PC before it came to console, but it's also on console. Okay. A rune arc. So all this does, this gets us down to deep root. It's a different way down to the deep root depths. Right? An alternative way if we hadn't gone the other way via underground uh, river. An Ansel River. <clears throat> yep, this is the root facing cliffs. You can see here. Yep, and then here's the standard Ansel River entrance, the Great Waterfall Crest. So we've done all of this. This is cleared. We, we've done everything down here. Built all the optional bosses and everything, so there's no reason to be here. Um, okay. <clears throat> so. We did it. I think it's time to go to Forbidden Lands. Right? Wait a minute. What about the Ronnie? We already did it. We already went to the Tower of Lyrnia and saw Ronnie's dead body there, correct? We've already done that. 
I just want to make sure we did all the tower stuff we can do up to now, right? There's this one. But we did we do this yet? We were there, were we not? But it didn't open. I don't. I think after you kill Morgot, you get to do this one. But I don't remember this one. How to do this one? This one I've forgotten. How to do that tower? Can't remember. But I think we're gonna head to Forbidden Lands and start exploring here, right? Hello, Captain Boric. I should play Crow County, a one-to-one -one Resident Evil 2 inspired. The isolated tower is Melania. Ah, oh, okay. So we can't do that yet. Got it. <clears throat> All right. Well, it's time to explore this area now. Next thing I need to do is start raising my endurance because even though I could start using the great, the Moonlight Greatsword, which is called what the Moon, the Dark Moon Greatsword, uh, it's gonna make me heavy load because it's so heavy. So unless I'm gonna drop a bunch of equipment, which I don't think I'm gonna do, uh, I don't think this is gonna work, right? I guess I could go level it up, but outside of that, like, I'm not sure what to do here. Um, like, what would I do to level my weight? I don't even know. Take off trousers? Take off my my pants, perhaps? Do we do that? Should we go to the blacksmith and level the sword up now? How do I do this? How do I get to the round table hole? There it is. So let's see if we can level this thing up to begin with. I think we can. No, 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 no. I need to do better than this. Oh, it's you. Don't pay me any mind. It's not important. Just lay out your arms. I feel like the game looks better. I don't know if they improved the graphics at all. I swear the game looks better than last year. I think, like, there's more detail. Like, this guy's face looks better or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. But I swear it looks better. Uh. What the? Oh, it's what I've equipped. No, I want the other. So where is the sword? Where the fuck is it? Did I pass it? I don't have a level one somber smithing stone. I have to go buy one. <laughs> I don't have a level one. That's pretty funny. Oh, I can go buy one. I also have some more of these bell, bell bearings to hand over. There you go. Oh, wait. Offer a bell bearing. The ghost picker. You gotta be kidding me! I can't buy Somber Smithing Stone 1? Shit! I never found the bell bearing to buy Somber Smithing Stone 1. Well, that sucks. How do I... <laughs> How do I get one? This stinks. What do you guys think? No, I had the Sony TV last year too when I played. Fuck. God damn it. And the other guy is dead, right? The other vendor who would have sold the smithing stones. He was up here. I think he's dead now. Road to the manor. No, he's still there. He didn't die yet. I think he dies now. Doesn't he kill himself or something? Because he's upset because Ronnie's request is done. Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. Have you heard? Yeah, I see. Lady Rani has departed on her journey along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor and, moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You and only you were Lady Rani's true champion. Thank God he sells them. 
I should probably, I don't know if I have a two, I should buy a two as well. I, I know I could get a three or four at the round table, though. Okay. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. I'm gonna buy one more just in case. You can do this too. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I just need a somber ancient dragon smithing stone, which are the rarest ones in the game, which I don't have yet. I think there's only isn't are there only two in the game, if I remember correctly? I think so. Lady Rani has departed along the dark path of Empyrean from Rena's rise, as she calls it. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well and to the very end. Okay, so I think now he dies, I'm pretty sure. So let's try this sword out now. But now I'm heavy load, so what if I dump my pants? Now I'm medium load. <laughs> I dumped my pants entirely. Can I wear like lighter pants? Yes, I can wear like cloth cloth boots. Is that really it? I could just wear cloth boots, that's it? Yeah, just cloth boots is the only thing I could wear is still be medium load. Well, here we are. Okay. Giant ass fucking swings. Okay. What's the special ability? Shoots arcs of magic. How long does this last? Does this use M FP? It must, right? This can't be in 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 endless. You find like an enemy to try this one. Is that it? Is that all it can do? It shoots the arcs of magic? That's it? No other special ability? No giant explosions? Wait, do they keep shooting from you at you now? Remember out here they shoot at you? Do they not do that anymore? Because well, I've cleared the school? Or do they still shoot at you again out here? I wonder. They don't seem to be shooting at me. So maybe it's over now. No enemies. The hands will be inside. Maybe I can fight the hands with this thing. Yeah, it ran out. Be a bunch of hands here. What's up, X Shooter? How are you? All right, let's give it a shot. Find some hands. Did no damage? What? There we go. Why? I don't get it. It's not damaging it. You saw that, right? It didn't hurt it. Must have been like just out of range. I gotta figure out the range on this thing. Number Smithing Stone 2 for killing that. I'm probably just out of range. I gotta learn the range of the projectile. Yeah, see, I was out of range. Still out of range. But the good news is it doesn't use FP. It does not use FP to toss those. You know what it is? The enemies are too close to the ground. 
Yeah, see? The enemies are too close to the ground, so that the projectile kind of tracks to the ground and misses. That's what it is. So this projectile is good for tall enemies, but bad for everybody else. See? It tracks too close to the ground. It aims it aims slightly down. Two-handed? I could. How would I do that? I forgot how to do that. There it is. Wonder if that makes the arc slightly different. Let's find out. Getting Smithing Stone 2 from these guys. Nope, it still misses. See that? The arc of the magic spell is slightly low. That is pretty weird. So you can't really hit short enemies with the sword. This would be good. Like, it's basically a free magic spell. Because it's a ranged attack, obviously. So it's going to be a good free magic spell to use and not waste my FP. Because I get so many casts on it, basically. But short enemies can't see. Short enemies cannot be hit with it. It has to be enemies that are waste or higher because it tracks to like a low a low target. <clears throat> so I'm glad I'm testing it now to know that. <clears throat> I, it looks amazing, does it not? <clears throat> it looks amazing. I love the look of it. It's glowing. It looks like it's a cold damage, actually, doesn't it? It looks like it's like a frosted sword, but it's not. It's damage. It will not grab me. There's a tree. Uh, it hits behind the tree. That's great. <laughs> Crazy stupid hands. <laughs> Alright, well, cool. I guess I'll use this, right? We'll use it for a while. And then we'll alternate between two-handing and one-handing. <laughs> Cool. I'm holding the best weapon in the game. Two talismans make it even better. Yeah, what uh, what talismans do you think would make this better? It does frost build up the sword. Oh, cool. I currently have raises potency of sorceries, shortened spell casting time, raise attributes with increased damage taken, and raise intelligence. What would what would you suggest? Because this is a, a D strength d dex b intelligence yeah it is frost it is a frost sword wow cool i didn't realize it was a frost sword <clears throat> probably only when the magic's on the sword though right it probably doesn't deal the frost without the magic <clears throat> alexander's shard i wonder if i have that What would that look like? Raise maximum HP, stamina, and equipment load. Oh. Earth Tree Favor plus one. That's actually really good for me right now. The equipment load. Oh my god. It raises your equipment load by 16. That's insane. That's a huge difference. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't have it. You have to do this quest line? Oh. Well, I don't have it then. Uh, that's huge, though. That's a huge equipment load increase. Which one, if I were to reduce, if I was going to remove one of these to put on the Erd Tree plus one, should I get rid of Potency of Sorceries or Spell Casting Time? Probably Potency of Sorceries. I think you guys were saying this is a very small increase, correct? Like it's not huge. But I think I want to get that equipment load. That sounds great. 49 equipment load is just crazy. Because now I can put on better pants I 
I can't put on all pants, but I can put on a bunch of... I can't put on the astrologer trousers I was wearing. But I could get something else. Is this 25 gives me good poise. This also gives me 26 poise. I can't wear, like, crazy armored leggings or anything. 4% potency? Ugh. 4%? It ain't worth it. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna wear it then. <clears throat> okay. Battle Mage Leg Wrap sounds good. I get a little bit more health, a little bit more stamina. Better equip load. I get to wear pants now. <laughs> I actually get to wear some pants. Alright, let's get let's get that stuff recovered. And it's time to explore this area. Remember, this is the area where it's going to get super dark, right? You can't see shit because there's snow everywhere. But first, I think there's a bunch of bandits and stuff along the way. And then, um... I think it's pretty crazy in this area. Find out. The Grand Lift of Roll. Radagons gives 30 virtual dexterity. Radagon. Take that, fuckface. They're too small. Quit whiffing. Radagon. Okay. I think there's a boss coming up, right? A mini boss? I think there's a mini boss. I think it's one of the statue gargoyle dudes coming up. I think he blocks the staircase you need to go to, if I remember correctly. Jeez! Again, look at the damage they're dealing to me. Like a weird glancing blow takes more than half my health. I hit a mid jump and he fell on his face. The vulgar militia gloves. Poor beetle. And the boss is coming up. I think we're near the stairs. It's a magic one. Don't need that. Speed. Let's see. I think we still need one or two more. I don't even need this. I'm not going to bother with it. Are these just health regens? They are. Don't need them. Where the hell's the gargoyle? I know there's a gargoyle over here. Got to almost beat to him. There's the stairs. Oh. There he is. How do I get off? I forgot how to get off the horse. What the hell? He insta-killed me? He insta-killed me. What the fuck? Literal instant death. What the fuck? I didn't have a chance. I, I can't remember to get off the horse. He insta-killed me. Gee. I wonder if this even works on him. Let's find out.
trying to use the sword rather than magic. I hit him a couple times for big chunks, but Jesus, this guy again. Every enemy now hits me like a fucking crazy tank and takes more than half my health in one hit. Ridiculous. Every enemy does this. <laughs> Bitch. What? Oh, nice hitbox. Not even near me, it hits me. Nice! I killed him with the new sword. Sweet. Sword's pretty damaging. Pretty good. Black blade and the black actually get both. I already killed the two, gar two gargoyles at once in the uh, underground area, remember? That's the tougher fight. I already beat it earlier. Correct? I already beat the two gargoyles with my magic. Cool. I believe there's a safe spot. I think there's a safe spot right through here. Big Fridge just did a $5, or excuse me, a five-pound super chat. Says, I used to watch you in the Fallout 3 days. Great times. I'm happy to find you're, you're still on YouTube. I had no idea. I can't wait to binge. Dude, you only got 15 years to catch up on. <clears throat> uh, after 2010, I posted all my gameplay content here on DSP Gaming. Originally, the Fallout 3 was over on the Dark Side Phil channel. But, um, yeah, good stuff. Get caught up. Tons of stuff to watch. And... FYI, if you can believe it, I don't know if this is why you're mentioning finding me now, but I had, I just started my new, my Fallout 3 playthrough from 2008. I'm basically remastering it, making it full widescreen, 1080p, 60 frames, 30 minute parts over on a channel called DSP Throwback. It's youtube.com forward slash at DSP Throwback. Um, <clears throat> you could go watch it right now. Part one's live and it's going to be in 30 minute increments alternating back and forth every other day for like the next couple of months. It should be a great playthrough. You get to see it in great visuals now, which it never was in. It was always terrible visuals in the Fallout 3 days, remember? <clears throat> okay. I could level up, but I got a slightly increase here. Um, okay. Light. Yeah, it's like seriously good timing if you like Fallout 3. Especially this week with the Fallout TV show today. My wife and I are going to be watching it tonight. We're excited for it. But well, we're going to start watching it. <clears throat> I guess the question is, should I put it into endurance or more vigor, right? Maybe keep going vigor for now and then later go back to endurance. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's get vigor up a bit and then we'll go to endurance. Well, this sword's crazy good for the projectile. You saw what the chunks of damage it was taken off the Black Blade the, uh, Gargoyle. Grand lift of rolled gold pretzels.
How do I summon it? I forgot. How do you summon the lift? How do you do this? I've totally forgotten about this. Uh... Shit. I don't see a lever anywhere. I don't see anywhere to put the any medallions. So how do you do this? First off, oh, talisman ahead. How do I do? I can't remember. Uh, I don't remember how to do this at all. get it. Stumped. <clears throat> oh, hoist the medallion. That wasn't it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Once we're here, we gotta fully explore. There's a bunch of stuff to do. There's a couple dungeons. Eventually, we gotta get the other half of the medallion to get the Halley Tree, but we can also go the other direction and fight the Ice Giant. We fight the giant that takes us to, um... That takes us to Paramazula, the floating continent. For the kind of end game stuff. But we have many things to do in this area. There's another dragon to fight. Many things to do. I can get a new spell at ruins nearby. Oh yeah. If they're gonna offer, if they're gonna call this the Grand Lift of Roll, they should offer you rolled gold pretzels. This is the only thing you're gonna think of is rolled gold pretzels. As soon as you see the word roll, you're like, oh, dude, I want a pretzel so bad right now. They offer you nothing. They're a bunch of jerks. Here we are. So we're going to get our map finally, thankfully. I wonder where this spell is you guys are talking about. Mountaintop of the Giants. Here we have the mystical trees that don't exist. What's the name of your horse in this one? Forgot his name. Here's our map. Here's our uh, waypoint. All right. So, first map finally obtained. You can see you didn't really miss anything. It's just a straight shot up to that gargoyle. I didn't even talk to the stupid finger reader. I didn't care. Torrent. That's right. Torrent the, the horse. I didn't even give a shit about the finger reader. Over here, this is annoying, right? Isn't this the frozen enemies? They're such a pain in the dick. So we have way different ways to go. This is the straight shot up. This is the castle fort. Isn't this where you get the other medallion to go to Halig Tree, I believe? I think so. The east way is the way to the giants. The giant boss fight and everything. I don't recall how you go this way. I know you can, but I don't recall how you get down there. I don't know. I don't think it's from here, is it? I, I can't remember. It's been a long time. We could try fighting the ice guys, but man, they are, I remember they're a major pain in the ass. By the way, look down there. Is that a one of the, the walking mausoleums? I think it is down there. That's the way that gets us to Halley Tree, but I don't remember how to get there. I've totally forgotten. I don't think you could just go down here. I think you die. I think there's a way down there from another direction. I'm pretty sure. You have to go from another direction. Well, let's uh, take a look at these ice guys. I know they're, they're a pain in the ass, but... 
Give them a shot. They're pretty tough. Oh, I have the power! See why they're frustrating? Just die, stupid. Okay then. They seem easy. They're not really. You need the second half of the medallion to get down there? Is that what it is? Okay. Well, we're gonna get it. That's the fort we have to do, I remember. I think I need another one to two seeds till I can get my final flask. Fucking ice spell. How useful. I tried to roll, it didn't fucking react when I pressed the button. That's great. Wow. Love it. Love that damage I take on everything. I love getting stuck on this fucking stairs. Also love that he can reach me, but I can't reach him with my magic. Oh my god, you annoying fuck. <laughs> you annoying shitbag. Did they give me all charge? No, they give me some charges back, not all charges. Not as tough as my first run. In my first run, they were way harder to kill. hiding over there. Look. Can't really see him. He's trying to be tricky. Look at that range. It's insane. zone of their asses. See what's down here. I see shit. Precious item. It's 
smithing stone miner's bell bearing three. So this is going to be a higher level smithing stone I can buy at the vendor now. Okay. Not that it matters. I already got my sword. <laughs> Another one over there. Here? Some butterflies. Two more. Do you think you did enough damage? Oh, this is fair. I couldn't even move. I'm serious. I was stun locked completely. He hit me once, and then it just immediately hit me again. I had no ability to move my character. You tell me what I was supposed to do differently. I... 100% stun locked after one stinking hit. Wow. Yeah, I really played that so poorly, right? I really deserved that death. Stupid fucking game. I wonder if they stay dead. Or if they respawn. Oh, they respawn, alright. Zamor Ice Storm. Okay. I guess we're just gonna get out of here then. We just got the item. Zamor Ice Storm. Cured meat. Oh boy. Love those tasty cured meats. Alright. this ice storm is right so by the way thank you big fridge for that super chat let's get you on the leaderboard before i forget thank you mm. oh excuse me Whew. okay um i'm really not using this let's take a look at this ice storm spell what is it Rust stab to the ground to create a freezing tornado. We give it a shot, see what it is. Oh, look who's here. It's the fake guy. This remember, this is not the real one. This is a different guy. Finally, <clears throat> we meet the tarnished. Who will be Lord? Oh my. Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Right. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. Beginning of the game. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Frenzied flame plotline. The Shabriri grapes. I hope you can make your peace with that. Shabriri grapes, which are just eyeballs. You were about to sacrifice something precious. The life of a fair maiden. That you would toss into the fiery forge only so that you may be lord what a horrible thing to ponder uh, your ascendancy <clears throat> requires her sacrifice whether she wishes it or not but how would the lord crown so be looked upon chosen tarnished and would be lord Dare to tread the path of true rigor. Spare the poor girl. And singe your own flesh in her stead. If you are prepared to show resolve and attain lordship through righteous hardship, then heed the words of I. Shabriri. Yes, if you get the frenzied flame covenant. 
down where we just were, where we beat the fake Moog and there's the frenzied flame door. There's a three fingers there that grabs you and turns you into a frenzied flame. And then you basically are immune to fire, so you can jump into the cauldron yourself <clears throat> to burn the Erd tree. And then it skips the whole plot line of having to have, uh, what's her name get tossed in? Melena? Whatever her name is? Chosen to descend the seek audience if you and okay. the girl setting you But we already we already did that, right? I swear we did. He's screaming, make chaos. Okay. Alright, let me try this uh, new spell. What the hell does that do? <laughs> right? What does that do? Is that it? It's that short-lived? That's it. I mean, there's barely any MP use. But what does it do? Anything good? I wonder if it does anything. We try it in a fight to see if it does anything. It's an area of effect. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like it's going to do that much damage, and it's also very short-lived. I don't know how effective that would be. You do that on the horse? Nope, you cannot cast that on the horse. You cast others, but you can't cast it while on horseback. Lane. It, ca ca it causes frost buildup. All right, well, we're going to continue on up the mountain. How do I do this? Do we actually have to go past those guys? Oh, we do. There's a path past them. I see. Oh, no, it's not. It's up here. How do we go up there? There's a way up up here, but I don't know how. That's what we gotta do. Go up here somehow. Hmm. You can inflict frostbite. It could be good on large enemies. I guess I could see that get under a large enemy and just cast it and see what happens. That could work. Here we are. Killer bird. You fucker. Take that. <laughs> you snow eagle. How dare you? Tax me out of nowhere. What a jerk. No item ahead. This is where we're going, aren't we going up? Yep, we're climbing. We're going up this way. All right, good stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying Elden Ring second run. As we continue to ascend the Mountain of the Giants with my new sword. Excellent.